Okay, it was a busy day yesterday. I ended up driving around for the majority of it. We had to go find some books. We had to do a few other things. Mainly, we ended up just driving. We spent our time driving all around the map, but we did get a chance to mark some really cool POIs that we want to go into over the next several days. You guys know this started as a One Life Challenge. It's still kind of One Life Challenge, but I absolutely have to go through some of these POIs. These POIs are too good to pass up. I want to knock them out in this playthrough. So if we die, that's technically the end of the playthrough, but then we'll spend a little bit of time going through the other POIs. I hope that makes sense, because I, I just can't miss these out. There's Stu Zoo. I want to hit that one up. I want to hit up Woodbury, which I think is a Walking Dead reference. Not sure. Ikea, which looks incredible. The Supermax Prison looks incredible. And then way down here, we found the Resident Evil building. It's called the Umbrella Corporation building. It looks absolutely incredible. There's a few other cool ones out there. I bet that one's something cool. Or no, that, you know what? That's the one we went to that was the little, like, uh, the not, what do you call it? The wrecking, wrecking area where you smash cars. I don't know. Words are hard right now. So let me get focused on what we're doing today. So we spent a little bit of time yesterday driving, a little bit of time scrapping books, and we should now have enough to make our range class. I did get the research bench that we found in the last episode. I got that put down, so we're good to go there. And I was looking through whether we should do the pistol class, the rifle class, or what. I really am thinking about the rifle class because it would be really nice to have a sniper rifle. But I'm also not a good shot, so maybe the pistol is a better idea. I feel like the pistol, even though it doesn't pack as big of a punch, as you start getting into the better pistols, it might be worth it. So... I think that's the way we're going to go. It's already at level 36, so it'll be a lot easier to use. So let's go ahead and track this. We need 150 knowledge points, which thanks to yesterday's trip, we definitely have. We had to scrap a bunch of books. That wasn't too hard at all. Uh, oh, also, last episode, I didn't realize that we actually got this, the handgun grip. We can make our own pistol now. I don't know how good a pistol we can make. Uh, 310, a pretty good one. So we might make a pistol real quick today, too. That'll be something we work on. Uh, we'll work on that in a second. Hold on. Focus on the first thing first. First thing first. Okay, I need those knowledge points that we we're looking for. All but a couple of those. We need the knowledge points. I need ink, which should be down here, I think. There you go. Put that back. We need paper. I think that's it. And then we just make the class paper, and that'll start up the quest line for that one. And then we finish the quest line to get the other thing that we need to make our final journal or something like that. It's something like that. Luckily, we spent a bunch of time watching Jean's Gaming, trying to understand some of the things that we have to do in this mod. He cleared up a lot of confusion for us. If you guys want to go see an amazing Ravenhurst playthrough or Ravenhurst streams on his Publix or his Patreon server, go check that out. I'm actually going to try to join that when we get a chance. Uh, let's see. Pistol class. Craft. Uh, so we've got a couple minutes. That'll be ready. Awesome. That is great, great news. I am a little worried. This place is getting beat up a little bit. I'm getting a little worried that this is eventually going to get broken down. So we've been kind of trying to keep an eye on all the zombies down here. So this doesn't get just wrecked. Are you just a regular guy? Yeah, because you see, look, they knocked out that. That's good. That's good. They knocked out what I had right there. So that's gone. Yeah, they're kind of wrecking shop just a little bit. But let me finish crafting up what we got to here. The research desk was a huge thing. We did get a couple other guns last episode. Uh, did I already put them back? We got this one here, which is the Browning High Power Tier 1, which takes 9 mil. So we're going to play with that one a little bit. And then we also have a couple rifles that were in there. Uh, this one? No. This one? Here we go. The FFN Elcal T1. Very cool looking weapon. I think that one looks awesome. Uses 5.56. Five, and then the other one is the Model 38, which is... Oh, it uses 9 mil. No kidding. Would not have guessed that. Very cool. So that's kind of what we found the last episode. We, we got a bunch of other great, great things. I think we're going to... Let's get that stuff for the pistol together real quick. Let's do this. Let's go track. So I need... No, that's rifle parts. Hold on. I know I need the handgun grip, right? We need... Handgun barrel. We need whatever that is. Uh, It looks like that. No, it must be this one. Handgun parts. There we go. And last but not least, the handgun pieces. Nope, not that one. Uh, this one? Handgun frame? That one. Okay. So we should be able to make the pistol. Hopefully we can make it on here. We can. Craft. Wait, wait. Hold on, just in case. What if I have to do that for a quest? I don't know. <laughs> just in case. Let's wait, because if I have to make it for a quest, we need to hold on to that. Uh, wrong bench. We still got about a minute there. In terms of everything else we've been working on, I, I still haven't gotten all the farming stuff done. I cannot figure out how to do the compost part of it, but we'll keep working on that as we can. Let me eat just a little more food to get the food all the way maxed out. That puts us at 80, 87. Oh, here we go. This one will take us all the way to the top. 
Take that one, and we'll drink a couple waters. I should probably start making some more. There you go. Two of those will take us to the top also. There you go. All right. Yeah, we should probably start making some more water, too. That's something we need to work on the next couple days. But we'll get this made up, and then we'll work on the next few things today. I hope that we can get the horde base ready. Oh, I didn't even sh have I showed you guys the horde base yet? This is basically the same base that we have next door, just built on this side. I'm trying to use what we saw from Jean's Gaming, where he had these rails. And I'm going to make this the climb-up area. So hopefully, if this all works out as should, there'll be ladders all the way around this. And they'll be able to climb up no matter which side they come up on. They'll climb up like so. Come up to here, and then they will follow the pathway either this way or that way. Work their way around. I'll have some things to force them to fall off. But for right now, it'll be just like this. And then eventually, they get to us if they get to us. And then I'll fight from this little platform here. That's the goal. But if we set this up correctly, they won't be able to do anything. I just need to make sure wherever they fall down at, they don't rage. Because I couldn't go 11 blocks up. I know you guys, a few different people in the comments have said, make sure your base is 11 blocks high. This is just short of that. I think we ended up at 9 or 10 blocks. So it's not going to be tall enough to stop them from going into rage. I, I think that I understood that correctly. Can I make this jump? Uh, Nailed it. Nice. All right. There we go. Pistol class. Now we go recipe. No, no, no. Now we go... Do I have to do it from the inventory? Just in case. In order to survive the apocalypse, you'll need to become familiar with the weapon of choice. Get out there and kill zombies. When I feel like your training is complete, I will reward you handsomely with some items that can be used to survive. Very nice. Okay, let's see what this is. So, kill zombies. Is it with a... Do I have to use the pipe pistol? Pistol training, using pipe pistol. So, that's going to be a little bit hard, being a little bit higher. But I do have a really good pipe pistol that we got a couple days ago. We can use that. And we just work our way through this. Now, I did see some really cool stuff that as long as you have the weapon in your hand... This is another thing that Jean's Gaming taught us. If you have the weapon in your hand, when a zombie dies, you still get credit for it. So if we throw Molotovs and they die like that, as long as we have the pistol in our hand, that's the one that gets the credit for it. So I guess we're going to use that pistol for a little bit. And then let's go ahead and make the other pistol, all right, just so we have it. Pistol, craft. That'd be a level 300. Oh, we, no, 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 because we should wait because we're going to be leveling it up a little bit. Good call. Good call. Way to think of that last second. Throw that in there. Let's go ahead. Oh, we got five points. Hold on. So we are currently action skill and pistol. We're at 35. So if I do this. There you go. Is it just a couple points or is it five points each? Pistols. Oh, wow. Now we're at 45, which already increases the pistol that we can make. Look at that. We're already at 401, so I'm glad we didn't make it. Good call. Good call. That was smart. Uh, let's see. What else do we need here? Let me just do a quick drop-off. We'll go ahead and go like so. Like that. We got enough rounds to kind of go out and cause a little bit of trouble. Definitely. And we just need to use these two pipe pistols as much as possible. So, reload you. All right. Well, I guess let's go get in a little bit of trouble with the pipe pistols. Uh, it's going to be, like I said... A little dicey running around with these things, but we'll have other weapons as backup just in case things go a little too crazy. We also have our rifles. We've got our shotgun. We've got a little bit of everything today. Let's go shoot some friends. Now, there was, when I was driving around a bunch, there was a drop. I think I lost it. I don't know where it was at. We can also knock out a few of the POIs in the area, or we could just go knock out a couple missions. Do I have any missions already ready to go? Trader. Trader. I know I have a quest. So we need to be using this one. <laughs> That's not very good aim. There you go, one of 100. <laughs> All right. Let's start getting some kills. 99 to go. And we don't want to go too far from base because I do want to... Oh, look, now we're getting blue guys just in the wild. There you go. Now what I'm told is the blue guy is tier 2, the yellow guy is tier 3, something like that. As it goes up, we've only seen like one or two of the... Of the yellow guys so far. What we should really do. It's hard because I can't see what their health is. Yeah, it's not a good idea to kill these guys with the pistol. Because it's just going to take too many rounds. But since I can't see their health anymore. I know there's an option for it. There is an option so we can see their health. So we can make sure we're getting the kill with the right one. Uh, I guess it would be video. Ravenhurst. Show crosshair, yes. Activation test, yes. 
show zombie health bar. That's some good. I love that. Remember quantity? Force high res texture? Override seven days to die memory management? Interesting. Higher resolution textures. I kind of want to try that. Hopefully it doesn't tell me that I need to reset, but all right, cool. Maybe that'll make things look even prettier. If it gets a little laggy, then I'll know that it's not a good idea and we'll go back to the way we were. All right, let's go do like a mission or something. That way we can knock out a couple quest lines while we're getting some pistol kills. That wouldn't be a bad idea. And we can hit up the trader and see if he's got more fuel for us or anything else that we need to grab from him. Books, stuff like that. We're still work looking for a couple more of the Forged Ahead books. So if we can find those, that'd be epic as well. But there you go, man. Lots of good stuff going on. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe on today's video. Make sure you go check out Jean's Gaming because he's helping us out big time on this playthrough. I would not have made it this far without both him and Old Dude Gaming. They've, they've left me so many comments and sent me so many DMs helping me out along the way. I appreciate it big time because I'm fairly lost most of the time. Uh, it says the mission's right in front of us. Oh, I have a mission to turn in. That's why. So even better. Let's go turn in a mission. Let's go grab a couple missions, and we'll see if we can get closer to finishing the Tier 2 quest, which would be awesome. Hopefully this guy's got a little bit of fuel for us. That'd be great, too. And we can go in any of these. <gasps> Is that the same one we already did? We could redo that POI because we know how to do it now. All right, we might do that. That wouldn't be bad. That's the one we literally just did. So we'll think about that. That's fingers crossed we might do it. All right, let me get up to the trader. Am I? Okay, we're off a little bit. I always have a hard time finding where we're at here. Okay. Go on this side. There we go. I never know how to sneak through some of these. And I've hit so many rocks and trees. My poor bike is just taking a beating. All right. Looks like... Oh, we got... Poss oh. Oh, good. There's a horde in there. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Go, 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 buddy. Go. Let's get over here. All right. Oh, they're so fast. They're also very, very aggressive. Okay. Use the north-south angles here. Don't hit my bike. Get off my bike. Bad zombie. How they put a horde in the in the trader, man? Come on, Ravenhurst. This is just further proof that Jax is a jerk. <laughs> no, he does a good job at this mod. I've really enjoyed it. This has actually been a huge surprise how much fun this has been. Oh, they look like they're all a little angry, don't they? There we go. Oh, I missed. Got him. Got him. Got him. As long as we're backing away just right, it's usually not too bad. All right, are you guys all walking and chilling? Let's do it. Oh, man, I always miss. That guy rocks a lot when he walks. There we go. Get those kills, man. All right, what's up, dude? It's like the oldest seven days to die trick to make sure that they're going north, south, east, west. They don't run very good at diagonal, so in this game, it's always been important to get them at that north, south, east, west. <laughs> I don't know why. Super weird. Something with either the zombie AI or just the, the engine of the game. Perfect. Yeah, see how... Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. I need you to reload way faster, guy. Got it. Look at that. Nine kills already. And, oh, you know what we could do? This is where we could do the whole... If we go like this and we go like that. So it's a little late now, but if we hit him with the knife... Did she die? So we hit him like this with the knife. Oh, my bad. She was supposed to bleed out. I was trying to get her to bleed. <laughs> my bad. But you hit him with the knife, and as they're bleeding out, you switch back to the pistol. That's how we get the easy kill. So something like this. Is she bleeding out? She's not. Do you have to hit him with that other one? Maybe you do. Okay, well, that's fine. Boom. Just like that. All right. Look at that, man. I'm telling you, we're starting to get some crazy hordes now. We're probably going to start seeing some crazier zombies, too, now. I'm seeing a few of the blue guys just randomly, and we're starting to see some of the yellow guys when we go in POI. So it's going to start getting nastier and nastier. All right, you guys just chilling. 
What if we hit you with some body shots? We'll hit him with a body shot, and then... Whoa, whoa. Oh, I thought she was eating my bike. Dang, Olive. Okay. I'm going to hit you in the knee. And then we finish you off with... The pistol. 13 down. I love the nice round number of 100. Makes it nice and easy. All right, let's turn in our mission to our buddy. We've got... Oh, definitely this one. No questions asked there. Uh, I just need to see if you have gas. I don't have very much cash. How much can I buy? Not that many. I only we'll come back. Let's take a job. Customers. Ziggler residence. Passing gas. That's 446. 148. Let's take the closest one. Mason Barn. Um, right there. I think we went to this one recently. I don't know where the banging is at. All right. Have I searched these? Oh, we haven't. Let me get these real quick. Uh, not really important. Uh, oh, some forged steel. Heck yeah. We'll need to make a new sledgehammer soon because our sledgehammer level is getting higher and higher. Oh, what's up, man? All right. We're going to hit you in the kneecap. And then we are going to shoot you right in the... Or I'm going to miss. Three times. My bad. Okay, let's go check out this barn. Is this the one that goes under the snakes? I hope not. I think it is. Gosh dang it, I should not have taken this one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it's this one. Hmm. Oh, those are new. I don't think I've seen those guys. All right, let me go to the front of it where we have to go. There it is. Entrance is on the top side. All right. Pistol kills as much as possible. Obviously, sledgehammer the rest of the time. we got to keep leveling up the pistols. All right. Let's go like a so. I did not get rid of some of those zombies. That's too bad. Okay. He's a little feral. Oh, that was a whisperer. Ah, what's up, man? Give me a little knife. Thank you. Is that also a whisperer over there? That is a four. Got him. Oh, we got red dots everywhere. Very nice. Did he die? Okay. Dead, dead. Let me carve these up because I do need that. Okay, let me carve this one up. What's up, dude? There we go. Okay, and is he is he bleeding out? He is. There you go. And that gave us credit with the pistol, I believe. All right. Get this. And then real quick. Get that. Make sure they're not sneaking on us here. All right, cool. I don't know if it's worth getting those right now. I do need a lot of that stuff, so we should probably do that. I've got a shovel on me. We'll use that in just a second. Uh, we've got a bunch of friends out there. I hear you guys. All right. That is one, two, three, four, five. I would like for you guys just to come on. Oh, here we go. Go ahead and knock him out. Are you a straggler? Yep, they're awake. Okay. Anybody running or are they all walking? If they're walking, this would be easy. Okay. Sort of. There we go. Wait. Come through the corn here. Yep, I hear you coming. We're not playing around with the runners. I should probably chill out with the pistol some, though. That's that's the bad part about going through these range classes. Maybe we should have done archery. No way. All right, and... Finish up. 
come on, come on. Oh, come on. Oh. Hey, why do we use sledge all the time? Because I have horrible, horrible aim. Okay, let's get ready. Oh, yeah, you, you knew there was going to be a couple in here. Both walkers. There you go. Oh, my God, we're missing so much. Just a little bit of panic with the pipe pistol. A little bit, a little bit. I don't know why we're doing that. Okay. Get your light back on. Oh, give me a forged ahead book. Ah, ah, no, snakes. Oh, I hate snakes. Hate, hate, hate. I'm glad it didn't do any worse than that. All right, there you go. Looks like we're going up, up. All right, creep across here. I think this is one where there's a, there'll be a couple of them coming across. Okay, I see the crawler. Is it just you? Is that it? Might be. Go ahead and get the loot. Give me some good stuff. We got another book. That's good. A little bit of a little bit of ammo. Got that. Chop you up. Not really worth it, but that's fine. And then I wouldn't mind getting these real quick because we're going to need them as the horde's getting closer. So let me get the shovel out. And we'll do those real quick. And then I'm going to do most of the things out in the little farm area too. Oh, good books. Good, good, good. Okay, scrap you. Scrap you. Read that. More pistol. Wiring. Awesome. Oh, and then this one. Crafting skill book. Medical journal. And explosive journal. Okay. Is that all of them? Scrap you. Now it's all. All right, so let's go like that, like that. All right, definitely grab all of this. Hugely worth it. Okay, let's grab these. And I just got to go find the supplies. We'll be good to go. Oh, nice, dude. A bunch of nitrate. Absolutely need that. A little bit of random stuff. Tarp. you thank you so even in this like a place like this we're getting pretty decent loot uh it's here somewhere like right here there we go come on there we go all right grab that and we jet out there you go another mission complete make sure we grab you you Definitely these ones. Nice. We're going to need all that. Uh, I wouldn't mind breaking this down real quick. Is it still worth it in this mod? Yeah, it is. Definitely. All right. Let's get a couple good things out of it. Oh, not dead? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. What's up, businessman? One shot, one kill. See, we're getting a little better. All right. Go turn this one in, and I'll, I'll try to check to see how many Tier 2 missions we've completed. I, I don't remember if you have to finish 10 or 20 in this mod. I know it's more than what vanilla is, so whatever vanilla is, it's like double that, I think. All right. Back to the trader. If nothing else, at least this is a super close mission. We've also got the passing gas that's super close. We can knock that one out. See if we can finish out one more mission today. Oh, no. Oh, my poor bike, man. Every time. Eventually, we're going to end up being just stranded somewhere. Hopefully, that doesn't happen soon. All right. What is up, buddy? So, another one. Oh, that forge steel looks good. Oh, I need that forge steel. Thank you. All right. Uh, job. Family farms. I'd really rather not do that. Bell Lake. I got a job for Sounds you. like a bad idea. Let's do it. Okay. Let me see if I can tell how many quests we've done of the Tier 2 variety. 
One, two, three. Wait, wait, hold on. So there's one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? Can I filter them by just tier two? No, I can't. Dang it. Okay. Looks like seven. So if it's ten, we just have three more. If it's twenty, we got a lot more. Uh, okay, that's right around the corner. Oh, you know what? Let me see if we can buy a... Do you by chance have a repair kit, buddy? Repair kit. Repair. No. Okay, well, how about a forged a headbook? Not that I have cash for it, but... Art of mining wouldn't be bad. Okay, focus. For me, today. me too, man. All right. Don't hit things. Don't hit things. We're okay. 27% is not too, too bad. All right. Quickly knock out one more mission, and then we'll head home. And that'll be a good way to end today. I should have two videos this week for Seven Days to Die, so it should be okay-ish. But we're going to be a little light on content because we're going to be out of town for a week. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I can get a couple videos out. Uh, if we don't, I appreciate you guys watching the ones that we do get out. If we do, I appreciate you checking those out. Dang it, another one. <sighs> okay. The hardest part is making sure I don't go the wrong way here, right? Can I just, like, draw one or two to me? Okay, thug. <laughs> I kind of just want to let him pass. But I also want the XP, so I'm very conflicted here. Okay, he's kind of chilling in the area. But we got Thug, Arlene. There we go, take out some of the riffraff. Feral, there's a Feral. All right, she's coming. Oh, okay. All right, just come on. How bad is it going to be? Probably bad. There you go. Go around. Go around. There you go. Oh, he got too close. My bad. Okay, we're good. Got him. Got him. Okay. All right. It's getting a little dicey. <laughs> Let him jump that. It'll slow him down slightly. Oh, she didn't die. There you go. Get a little more aggressive. The only bad part, the scary part, is that I have a tendency to back up, and we end up backing up into even worse things. So we get a little bit, a little bit more careful. Are you dead? All right. Cool. Good job. Two. I'll check on how many kills we got in a minute. It's, I mean, it's nowhere close, but still. Finish you off. Well done. If nothing else, man, we're getting lots of kills today. So for the quest line, we are at... Oh, get rid of that. We are at... 27. Nice. Okay. Oh, my bad. 28. All right, I have never done this POI. Let's see what it looks like. Why do I feel so low? I don't know. Okay, it's 1,900. Keep an eye on the clock. All right. Oh, this is going to be crazy, isn't it? What is it? It's a clear the area. It says 15 left. Is that 15 areas or 15 zombies? <laughs> We're trying to cheat. <laughs> I was trying to see if maybe I could do that. Is there going to be a bunch out there? Because they won't load in if I'm up here, will they? Okay. It's going to get nasty. I know it. Let's get a good weapon ready. There we go. What do we got? Okay. It's not horrible. All right. Well, let's just go. Okay, just one in here. Okay, it's definitely a total zombie countdown. That's actually good. She 
he's not part of it. Got a couple stragglers on the outer ends here. Hello. Yep, I knew there was some in there. All right, take you out. All right, down to 11. More stragglers. I don't even think... Th these are not part of the actual thing, are they? They're not. When I see a screamer, I don't know if she's an actual screamer. Just in case. Just in case. Alright. Yeah, these are not part of the actual mission. Oh, my bad. Okay. Zombie stripper. Is that good? I love this, man. Look, little wedding area. There's a lot of good stuff to break down here. I want to break it all down. Okay, well, the dance floor is going to be where it's all at, right? Okay, it's going to be crazy. I, I just know it. Are you blue? Hold on, let me take her out first. Oh, didn't didn't work. All right, we're getting the blue lady now. Okay. Go ahead and load in. Come on. Is this one of those ones where the floor falls or something? No? Just two of you? There's no way. There, at least you're feral. I know that's what's up. Oh. Okay. A little bit of dance floor action. Cool. There they are. What's up, guys? We should turn the dance floor on for these guys. Nice. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is a cool POI. I like it. Okay, a couple books. We always get good stuff in these ones. Give me the good stuff. We got... Oh, not too bad. Iron sledgehammer. Let's scrap you. Read that. Read that. Is this actual cooked meat? It is. Nice. Might mess with that here in a little bit. Okay. I would love to take a little bit of time to get all the rest of the stuff, but we need to actually keep jetting out. Let's finish this mission. Alright. Looks like a definite trap. Is it just you? I missed. Five left. So five... Zombies or five areas? I don't know. Another cool... I know you guys told me that it's areas, not zombies, but it seems like it's zombies. I don't know. I believe you all more than I believe me. All right, let's check this one. Getting pretty good. Why does my light turn off all the time? I f am I hitting the button? I don't know. Uh, 15 food. Let's take it. Drop that. Eat that. And... Okay. Give me more rounds. Thank you. Okay. Where else have we not cleared? Do I not get, like, the notification of where I haven't cleared yet? Okay, you guys are not part of the actual POI, but we'll take all y'all out. Alright, maybe that little gazebo right there. Let's go hit up the gazebo. Oh, here we go. In the water. Alright, two left. Okay, chill out on the sprinting, man. Search that. We're getting a little late in the day. I would really like to get out of here. Okay. I'm not sure where else. And I really don't want to be out here at nighttime, so I will, if we have to, we'll fail the mission. Oh, are you dead, dead? Let me double check this area over here. Is it this thing? Alright. Are, why are we hurting so bad stamina-wise? Come on now.
Oh, there you are. What's up, man? Okay, one left. Oh, back here. Really? There it is. All right. Let's get back to the trader. Perfect timing, man. That was actually a little bit longer than I wanted to be here. I wish we had time to get all the vehicles and stuff, but we need to go. And if that's a horde over there, I don't want to mess with them right now. All right. To the bike, to the trader, and then to home. And then I'll work a little bit getting ready for the horde night. Our, our base is close to ready, but we got a little bit of work to do there to make sure it's good. We'll get all that done and should be good, man. All right. We are not fighting because they should be feral in like just a second. They might already be feral. <laughs> all right. Cool. If I can do the trader, we will. If not, we'll come back here later on because I don't want to be in there if it's nasty. Super quick. And then if we can't go in, we'll end it. Oh, yeah. See, that's already the... That's the sound right there. Oh, Screamer, okay. All right, I think that's our cue to go ahead and go home for the night, and then we'll come and tra turn the mission in in the morning just to be safe. I will see you guys in the next episode of Ravenhurst, 7 Days to Die. Thank you so much. Huge shout-out to John's Gaming, as always. Huge shout-out to you guys for checking out the video. B biggest shout-out to the patrons. You guys make this channel possible, make all my servers possible. I really appreciate y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Later.